Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. Previously we saw face detection in live video. But we encountered some delay in it. It is due to, we detect the face in every frame which gives the delay and leads to drop of frame rate. In this video, we will try to overcome this problem. Let me tell you the main idea briefly. Instead of detecting face in every frame we initially detect the face, then we detect some eigen features in it, and track those points, if the points are less than 10, then we again detect the face and continue our tracking. Hope you got the main idea. If you don't understand then don't worry, in the meantime you will know. Let's divide and conquer the video as we always do. First we will know some functions required for tracking, then we do video point tracking with a box, then we track points from webcam by detecting face, finally we put them all together. Open MATLAB, create new script, and save it. Let's try some basics required. Create a variable, which stores the image with name pts.jpg. Now let's have a glance of it. We are going to use this for next couple of functions. It's showing some warning, as the image is high definition. We don't have any problem with it, so turn off the warnings in the script. Now it doesn't show any warnings. Now create matrix, which holds the dimensions of a rectangle box. These points mean, initial point of the rectangle is 500, 500, and have length and width 100. Insert the rectangle on the image, using insert shape function with the dimensions previously have. Now look at it. Yup we got it. Let's see how to insert a polygon. The representation of points differ from rectangle to polygon. For polygon, we have to use the coordinates of each and every corner unlike in rectangle. The points represent the corners of the polygon we want to draw on the image. Now insert the shape, using insert shape function with same line width and different color. Now display the image. Yup we got it. Now create a variable with three different coordinates, and insert the plus symbols on image at those places, using insert marker function. Observe the output. Zoom it for better vision. Yup we get symbols at different locations. We can insert other symbols using this function. Let's move to other functions. Create a matrix with some numbers. If we want to rearrange the matrix in different dimensions, we make use of reshape function, which changes the matrix dimensions as we give. Here we change matrix with dimensions 2 by 3 to 3 by 2. If we observe, the arrangement of elements goes column wise. If we want to create a one dimensional image we give inputs like this. Now look at the output. Yup we got it. In this case also, the elements are arranged in column wise. Previously we created a bounding box also called B box. Now what if we want to change them to points type? For that we have a function, B box to points which takes the input of initial point length and breadth, and give the output of corner points. Yup we got it. Here comes the main part. For the image we detect the corner points using detect min eigen features function in the region of interest ROI. Now insert the marker at those points, and save it to a variable. Now display the image. We can see, there are many points detected. We make use of this property further. In our previous video, to display a motion video we just updated the images often to display a video. Now we explore the video player present in computer vision toolbox in MATLAB. Create a variable video reader, which stores the video read by vision.video file reader, present in MATLAB database. Now create a video player using vision.video player function. Until video reading is done, take a frame from the video, and step it to video player. After completion, we release the video player and video reader which are allowed to change. Run the script. It's too fast. Let's run it again. Okay we got that, a person moving with his hands folded. That fine. Now get into next part. Now let's create a point tracker. Let's create a video file reader and a video player, whose position on screen is 100, 100 and height and width of 680 and 520. These dimensions are taken from the previous video player with addition of 40 units to each. Take a frame from the video and display the picture. Now we want to detect the points in face, so let's detect our region of interest. Create a rectangle starting from the point 264, 122, with a height and width 93 units. Now insert rectangle in ROI. Yup the ROI covers the maximum part of the face. Now detect the minimum eigen features in the ROI and insert shape at those points. I think you understand these lines. 
I discussed those lines previously, if you have any doubts please let us know in comments section. Now display the picture. If we observe, we get the points in our region of interest only. Now create a point tracker using vision.pointTracker function with bi-directional error of 1, that is, it tracks the points which change 1 pixel in any direction. Let's initialize the point tracker with the points we previously detected from the object frame. Run the loop until the video file is completed. Get the frame, track the points in the frame, and save the points and their validity. What is validity? It is an array of zeros and ones. Initially we have some points, while tracking if any of those points are not detected, then the corresponding posit and invalidity array returns 0, if the point is tracked it returns 1. It helps in updating the points in every iteration. Now insert the marker at the points which are detected. And update the video player and end the loop. Let's run it. We can observe that the points present in the face are detected, although some points are missing. We tracked the points, but how to place a box around the face in the video. For that you need some patience. Create the video player and some functions we need as we did in our previous part. If you have any confusion feel free to pause the video, go back and check them. Now make some changes. Change the bbox points into normal points and store it in bbox points variable. Now get the polygon points in order. We discussed it previously about why we should do this, hope you remember. Change the shape points as bbox polygon. Now also store the locations of detected points into variable xy points and duplicate the xy points in old points. Run the loop till the video is ended. Store a frame of the video and track the points in frame. Now store two variables visible points and old in layers, which contains the available points from xy points and old points. Old points are the initial points, if the subject in our video moves, then the new location of those points are saved in xy points. Now we find the relation between those points, using estimate geometric transform function, with maximum distance 4. We store the relation between the points in x form. Now we apply those relations to the polygon also, then we get the new location of the polygon. Now convert them to our comfort. Finally insert the polygon box and points to the frame. Save the present points as old points because present location become old location in next frame. Then update the point tracker with old points and video player with the frame. End the loop and release video player and video file reader. Sorry, we have some syntax errors, let me clear those. Now run the script. Yup we got it, along with the points now the box also moving. Are we done? No. There are some drawbacks of these script, let me note down those. First one is no webcam included. Second is we determine the subject location it is manually declared. Let's create webcam point tracker. If cam doesn't exist, then we store the webcam in variable, cam. Store the frame of the webcam in video frame variable and display the image. Get the points of the subject's face. We have to create a box which should cover the face, so that we will detect the eigen features in it. This point location is 555,246. Let's take 550,250 as the initial point. The right corner point is 864,240, which differ by 300 units approximately. Similarly the down corner location is 558,528. It is also differ by 300 units vertically from initial point. Let's take the B-box points as 550,250, with a width and height of 300 units. You should remember that, these are variable which may change from frame to frame and person to person. While considering these points, take which are suitable to you. Now get the frame size. Create a video player with dimensions that can suit the frame. Now create the object region with initial point 550,250 and height and width of 300. Now insert the shape around the subject face. 
Yup, it covers the subject space, we can continue. Now detect the eigen features in the ROI object region. Insert the marker at those positions and display it. Great, we get the points on the subject's face, so we can track them. Now, create point tracker. Initialize the point tracker and video player. Here, we take the frame from the cam. Track the points in the present frame. Insert the marker at valid points in current frame. Update the video player. Sorry, it's uppercase so let's run it. Yup we got it. Oops. Where are the points? We have a drawback to note down. If there is a sudden change in the points then we can't track the points. We are giving the subject's face location manually, instead, make use of face detector to find the face in the frame. Create a face detector and apply it to the frame we took. It gives the B-box points, which we will use as the object region. Let's check it. Yup it's working fine. But point tracking is not fruitful when there is a sudden change in the points. And another drawback is, if there is no face in the frame initially, it will through an error even though, the face is available after couple of frames. Now, to overcome all of these difficulties, we have to change the code slightly. Now create the final script. Create face detector, point tracker, webcam variable. Video player with dimensions of the frame extracted. Create a run loop variable with boolean value true and numPTS variable to store the number of points. While run loop variable is true, get a frame from the webcam. Store a gray version of it. If the points are less than 10 we detect the face, otherwise we track the points. If face detected then we detect the eigen features and insert marker and polygon as we did previously. If the points are greater than 10 then we track the points. We store the number of visible points in the numPTS variable. If the points are greater than or equal to 10, then we estimate the transform of the points and apply the transform to the previous points and polygon. Then we draw the marker and polygon on the frame. Update the points of the tracker and update the frame of video player. Clear the cam variable and release the video player, point tracker and face detector. Oops, there is an error. I added an extra S here. Clear the command window and run the script. Yup it's working fine, even there is a sudden change in the image, it again detects the points and point tracking starts. Finally, we overcame all the difficulties. Even we don't find any delay in the images, which we encountered in our previous video. So, that's all for this video. If you have any doubts regarding this video, do let us know in the comments section, or DM to our Instagram account Let's Decode. As we promised in our next video we will make a real-time face recognition. Keep supporting us, with your likes shares and comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, so that you won't miss our future videos. Thank you and sayonara.